Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. The first time tuning in, don't hit the hit subscribe button. And welcome to how I shoot video vlogs on how you can live a better life and what techniques you can use today because what you're facing, you're normal, and what you're facing, you're not the only one. So either one, get help you need or listen to one of my videos because this is how you live a better life. So I'm gonna talk about this. And what I do is I help people that are high performers facing burnout. So if you're a high performer facing burnout, this way I can help you. So I hope you like my shirt. I am enough because I'm noticing the work environment, especially in tech and, and high stress environments, people get promoted or they get demoted or they have a change of management or they go to a new job and they get overwhelmed with the fact of, am I um, enough? Imposter syndrome. Oh, I'm not smart as Billy Bob and Sue. I'm not smart as this person. I don't think I qualify for this job. And you start panicking. You start overthinking. You start getting to the spiral of a rabbit hole. Is I'm not enough. I tell people it's the hurricane effect. The hurricane's up here and you're down at the bottom spurling around, right? And this is what happens. And what you're thinking is okay. But also let's examine the fact that what you're thinking, how true is it for you? Panicking in an environment that's new, feeling not good enough is totally normal. If you go from a job you've known for 10 years and then a job you just got hired at, let's say Facebook, there's going to be some nuances of, uh, can I make it? Am I good enough? Uh, there's a lot of pressure. The work environment is fast paced. You, it takes a while to get used to it. And these are the thoughts people are thinking right now. Am I good enough? Can I, can I keep up with the demand? Is it, I'm the only one thinking this. Who can I share this with where I can get help? So let me tell you this. To face to, to, to debunk imposter syndrome is really to realize that the questions you are telling yourself is supported by facts. Now, we hear that all the time, supported by facts, but yes, the way you feel is the way you feel and it's real for you. So even though you don't have support by facts, you feel something. I want you to examine what you're going through right now. Let's say in the work environment, you're panicking because I may not be good enough. Well, look at the facts. The facts are, did you get hired for the job? Yes. The facts are, did you go through the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth interview? Yes. Do you, did you have the education for this job? Yes. More importantly, does it support your values? So did you get this job because it paid a lot of money? Did you get this job because it was funny your resume? What boundaries are you not setting? What I realize is that people get caught up with imposter syndrome because they don't think they're good enough because... They're in an environment where people may be smarter than them, more intelligent, more experienced. But they don't realize you yourself can actually, within the same amount of time. So if you're comparing yourself to a Bob, and Bob's been there five years, and Bob is very smart and intelligent, he's doing everything he can. Well, know this. Bob started where you started, and also the fact, I took him Bob five years to get there, you will get there in five years. Also to my clients, do you have the skills or the talent to get what you want? Yes. Well, I asked another question is, so if you say yes to that, did you get the job to get fired? No. Okay. So you are where you should be because you have all the answers you already need. In moments like this, it's best to start and be present in the present moment. Right now, we're trying to crawl before we can walk as a good example. Babies have to crawl before they can walk. We know that scientifically they have to, right? But the thing is, is that we want to be somewhere where we, we want to be, let's say here, we're here, but we want to be here. But yet there's a big piece in the middle. And the big piece in the middle is the steps, the process, what you have to do, what you learn to get where you need to be. More importantly, if you feel in this way, it's because you're out of balance with the value of yours. So if your value is time with friends and family, let's say it's the value of yours, the values are what's important to you and a principle for yourself. You're misaligned. It's like a, a gate opening up and keeps opening up because the job is becoming too exhausting. So what you need to do is start setting boundaries so that way you fill your cup back up. If you have a 12 ounce cup and you're only 12 ounces, remember people can't get more energy than they have. And once they peter out, it's like being in a car with an empty gas tank. What you tend to do is think about this. If I have a 12 ounce glass, I'm constantly giving out ounces to work, to, to being present, to doing everything I can, but nothing's coming back in to fill my cup you feel exhausted. Set the boundaries. Figure out what's important to you. What are your values? How you can get more energy? And realizing you worked your butt off to get where you are, so why question it? You have everything you need already inside. Trust the process. So I want to say thank you again for listening to the Ron Johnson video vlogs. If you want to learn more about myself or you want to 
kind of book an appointment with me and let's discuss what you're going through, be whatever it is, you're facing burnout, imposter syndrome, and our new circumstances, I want you to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, schedule a call with me, let's talk and let's connect. And always, thanks for listening. One thing, don't hit the subscribe button and don't hit the bell because I post some videos weekly about how you can live a better life. Again, thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.